topping tonight's consumer alerts, surely you have remembered what this coming Sunday is, right? But just in case you have forgotten, here's Chris Clackham with some last minute gift ideas for dad. If ever there's a year dads deserve their due on Father's Day, it just might be this year. Today's dad is uh, doing three times the amount of childcare and twice the amount of housework that dads did a generation ago. That research from Pew inspired author Scott Beeson to write the Working Dad Survival Guide, which itself might make a nice Father's Day gift, or tools of any type. Yard tools, hand tools that just happen to be heavily discounted right now. The Father's Day sales actually coincide with June home improvement sales. So it makes it really the perfect storm for dads that have uh, DIY projects going on. Tools are followed closely by barbecue equipment or tickets to a sporting event. Even clothing's high on dad's wish list, although you still might want to steer clear of ties. Walmart turned it around and asked its customers what they wanted to give for Father's Day. We heard that 43% of them said that they just don't want to just give a gift to dad. They actually want to give a gift that they can do something with. And do that something with dad, which is consistent with other surveys that found nearly three quarters of all dads only want time with family for Father's Day. Chris Clackham, NBC News. Spending on dad is expected to reach $12.7 billion this Father's Day. That's according to the National Retail Federation's Father's Day Spending Survey. The average person will spend $115.57 on gifts. Parents are paying an average of almost double the money to add their teenager to their car insurance. A new report from insurancequotes.com finds the average married couple pays 80% more for car insurance after adding a teenage driver to their policy. 16-year-olds caused the highest spike in premiums at an average of 96%. The average impact decreases to 60% at age 19. Good student discounts can relieve some of the sting, so parents should be sure to ask their insurer for any applicable discounts. Changes are coming for retail giant Target. Shoppers will soon see CVS Pharmacy appearing in its stores. CVS Health is acquiring Target's pharmacy and clinic business for $1.9 billion and will operate them through a store within a store format. More than 1,600 Target pharmacies in 47 states will be rebranded as CVS Pharmacy and the clinics currently in Target stores will be renamed Minute Clinic. CVS also plans to open 20 new clinics in Target stores within three years of the deal's closing, while Target plans to seek five to ten locations for new small-format Target Express stores that would also have a CVS pharmacy inside. 